sweaty mess I'm pretty sure half my face is like sunburned but the craziest thing happened so I checked into my new Airbnb and I knew there was like a parade or something going on so like the 80th anniversary of the liberation of this part of France during the war so there's normally a parade I just assumed that's what it was though it was a little suspicious there's been a lot of police around lately like kind of monitoring things so I was like oh whatever and it just so happens the airbnb i'm staying in overlooks where the route was routed off and it turns out when i started hearing the cheering i you know went to look figured you know catch some cool military vehicles or something it was the olympic flame <laughs> Para-Olympic flame is what I found out, but before I just was like, oh, it's the Olympic flame, it's crazy, and it still technically is. So I was like, oh, this is wild, like it literally went right by my Airbnb, and I called and told my dad because he gets here tomorrow, and like, is so into this kind of stuff, and he's like, you have to go find it again. So I went down to the port, and there was like this whole setup for it. Cette flamme, cette flamme qui va prier, effectivement, et on attend beaucoup de médailles à partir. Un instant donc à l'allumage du chaudron. Si vous êtes d'accord, on va effectuer un, un décompte. Est-ce qu'on est prêt pour le, pour le décompte Oui Alors, est-ce qu'on est prêt pour le décompte dans un instant Allez, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, on its way to Paris and Antibes was one of the stops and in the port there was this huge 
kind of like gathering and i got like a free t-shirt i got a picture with one of the flame holders how insane is that and the crazy thing is if i wouldn't have been moving airbnbs i probably would have just been at the beach with friends and i wouldn't have known any of this was going on um so really good timing but um also just kind of wild i never thought i'd get to see an olympic flame let alone one in antibes so there we go.